Hello, Internet! Xanos here! How you doing, guys? Right, we're gonna do a shorter video today. Hopefully, anyway, we'll see. I don't want to do another long, boring video for you all to turn off and go <laughs> halfway through. But I thought I'd do a nice video about how I could show you how you can get around 48 games for about 42p each. Which I think is a pretty damn good bargain. This isn't sponsored in any way, this is just something I feel like I should share with you because it's something that I, I benefit from. Like, I, I benefit from this service myself, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, basically, there's the service on Xbox One called EA Access. EA Access is $19.99 a year. This is English pound. It's $19.99 a year. I think you can pay £5 a month for it. But it's far more beneficial to just use £20 for the year. Now, when I originally got EA Access, I, be honest, I mainly got it for the Mass Effect Andromeda 10 hour uh, free trial. So I've still got it for the year. I've got about nine months left on it now. And I noticed an announcement on Appy Gamer, an app I use for gaming news, which is really cool, which told me that Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 are both coming to EA Access, which is friggin' incredible. And now I'm going to be thinking about how much money do you actually save on EA Access and is it actually worth it? So I've picked out 10 games from EA Access that I am most likely to play, some that I do play, some that I don't yet play but want to. And what I've done is I've taken these 10 games and I've got four different prices. Three prices are from three of the UK's main game retailers, which is Granger Games, Game and CEX. The fourth one is actually from the Xbox One Live Marketplace, but we'll do that in a separate comparison because when you average out the price, including the Xbox One, it makes the price absolutely skyrocket because Xbox One Marketplace is bloody expensive. So first of all, let's look at the biggest one I'm excited to get again, which is Titanfall 2. If you look at Titanfall 2 on its own from the three different stores in the UK, but the average there is 20 quid or 19.99 across all three stores. So, if you were thinking about buying Titanfall 2 and you don't yet have it and you're thinking of going and buying it, I strongly recommend to you, don't buy it. Instead, buy EA Access for the same price. Because included in that, you'll get games like Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Battlefront, including all the DLC, FIFA, it's around 48 to 50 games. And they work out about 42 each. But anyway, let's look at the 10 games I've picked for this list. The 10 games are Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Battlefront, FIFA 17, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, NFL 17, Need for Speed, and Need for Speed Rivals. I've picked them 10 games because, like I said before, they're the games that I either play, are going to play, or will play when they become available. Average for each game of around £12.80, with a total price for all 10 of £128. But if you decided to get EA Access instead at £19.99, you can get all them games for 20 quid, which I think is well more than worth it. So, not everyone out there does go into stores to buy their games, which is fair enough. I'll be honest, quite a lot of my games, well, 90% of the games I now, I now buy are now digital. I only buy them when they're in the sale. But if we just look at the Xbox One Live Marketplace, that's a total price of £291.90, which is an average per game of £29.19, which is friggin' expensive. So if you want to work out an average, if you can, if you also include the free stores and the Xbox One Live Marketplace, the average for the games becomes £16.80. But still, if you buy EA Access for 20 quid, you can get, as I say, over 48 games, about 42 p each. And I think it's well worth it. This video is more of like a, a PSA, a public service announcement. And I'm sure a lot of you do already may have EA Access. And I just... If you don't have it, it is something that you should definitely look into if you want a massive chunk of games to play. Now, Battlefield 1, obviously, it doesn't include any Season Pass content, but you can't really complain. You can get you can get Battlefield 1 and 49 other games for £20, and then you can buy the Season Pass if you wanted to. Battlefront now includes all the DLC, which is fantastic, because I think the Battlefront uh, deluxe version with the Season Pass on Xbox Live is about £25. Which is decent, but spend £5 less, you'll get it anyway with 49 other games. That's the main thing here. Search for EA Access Online and search for the games available in the library. If there's any games in there that you are currently after, I think it is safe to worth seeing how much it's going to cost. 
And if it's cheaper or maybe a couple of pound more, it is so worth buying the EA Access. It lasts for a year and you physically download the games to your console, which is even better. And if you wanted to buy any of the games outright so you own them for life, you do get a nice little discount from EA Access. If you don't already have it, I think it is massively worth considering EA Access. So, there you go. Public service announcement done. <laughs> so anyway, coming up shortly, there'll be a video over this way. And then in a few seconds, there'll be another video over there. You can click above here to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Please think about liking and sharing this video and let me know if you enjoyed the content or not. And as always, I was Xanos, and I'll see you later, guys.